I just don't understand how some people believe that this is truly a move of the spirit or the anointing that is coming upon people and making them act this type of way. And a lot of people will say, don't put God in the box. Joy and laughter is for is from the Holy Spirit. Demons can't make you laugh. And that's just not true when you're saying demons can't make you laugh. If you study other religions, Kundalini, Kundalini Yoga, Buddhism, Hinduism, you will see them laugh, laughing uncontrollably, just a bunch of hysteria. And it's like a clown show. This happens in other religions, okay? But you don't see this stuff in the Bible. I'm about to play it. Obviously, I have content like this on my page, but you just don't see this in the Bible. Um, this is not unspeakable joy. Okay, so let's just play it. Do you feel what I feel? Yep. <laughs> feel you? <laughs> it's a joke, right? He's just looking up like, I, I've just never seen this before where it's supposed to be the presence of God is here, reverence, the fear of the Lord, just as glorious here. Yes, joy can be there. But this whole thing of like everyone's the people in the crowd, they're laughing at the people. That's what you understand. It's not like the people have joy and laughter. It's the fact that they're laughing at the clown show that's happening on the pulpit. Look at this. Acting like drunk people. And please do not quote the scripture when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples and they're praying in unknown languages. And then people said, oh, they must be drunk. Please do not quote that scripture because you're quoting it out of context. My goodness. And please don't quote a scripture when it says that the ministers could, could no longer stand when the, when the glory came, when the cloud came, that Bible verse. That's referring to the presence of God coming and people falling because of reverence because of the fear of the Lord, because of the glory of God came upon them. Not this foolishness of, I can't stand because I'm laughing so much uncontrollably. Like this is a joke. And you gotta look, the people in the crowd are just laughing at the people. They're just laughing at them. Oh, this is so funny. How on earth can this be a move of the spirit? But people are laughing when the spirit of God is there. They're laughing at the people. Where's like the, oh, Jesus, hallelujah, just, but it's, it's this, we're laughing at you. This is funny. Look what you're doing. It's so funny. They're acting drunk. They're acting this way and that way. It's funny. Now I've seen people, like we say, slain in the spirit, lack of a better term, or the glory of God comes upon them. I've seen it before. People fall and whatnot, but it's not this ha 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 ha. But it's just this this just reverence and this fear of the Lord and this this awe. This it's just wow. And then this joy comes upon you. But this right here is hysteria, and I will call it out every time. To die for me because he right? Garbage touches his neck, and then he falls. Now, what he's touching his neck is not for healing. It's not deliverance. It's literally just, oh, to encounter the laughter or encounter what I'm encountering so you won't stand. So he touched him knowing he was going to fall. So that guy actually fell because he knew. So imagine, look at this. This guy is laying hands on people so they can fall because of the laughter. They can't stand because of the laughter. Because he See, he falls on the floor, starts laughing. This is not of God. Cold. 
Kundalini has run rampant in the church. Yes, Kundalini has run rampant in the church. And if you notice, like, I don't say too much about Rodney Howard Brown as a person, but I, I just really address this. This right here is ridiculous. And he's been doing it since before I was, before I was alive. And it used to actually be worse. He used to mock the gift of tongues and with Kenneth Copeland. And we know Kenneth who, who Kenneth Copeland is. That dude is not a man of God, right? And he used to just mock and mock the gift of tongues with, with, um, with Kenneth Copeland. And they would always do this stuff and it was just ridiculous. You know what it is? It's a bunch of, a lot of it's kundalini and a lot of it is emotionalism. And I've casted demons out of people who have had this uncontrollable laughter. Now, now am I saying when people laugh in the joy of the Lord loudly, is that um, demonic? No, I'm not saying that, right? Because people can have the joy of the Lord and praise the Lord. But there is a difference between a loud praise and a loud shout of glory, hallelujah, and you laugh versus hysteria. Versus a clown show, versus <laughs> versus like stuff like that. But all this giggling and giggling and giggling and giggling and stuff, it's just it's just not biblical. It's just not. 